Ako ay Pilipino. Buong katapatang nanunumpa sa wakawat ng Pilipinas at sa pansang kanyang sinasagisa na may dangal, katarungan at kalayaan na pinakikilos ng sambayanang makadiyos, makatao, makakalikasan at makapansa. Good morning, Pangkat Piva. Welcome to the second part of our celebration of the 75th Piva founding anniversary, the virtual recognition ceremony. Once again, we are your hosts for today, and we will be joining you all throughout this program. I am Nico Oreiro. And I am Felicia Doris Lang. As a continuation of our virtual celebration, we will be giving recognition to outstanding EVA officials and personnel who have displayed strong commitment to their duties and responsibilities, displaying immense courage and passion to serve our Filipino veterans and their families despite our current health situation. Today, we will also recognize the dedication and the loyal service of our fellow Pangkat Pibao who ended their public service this 2021 and those who will retire this month. We shall also recognize those who have resigned from service but have served for at least a decade in Pibao and those who died while faithfully serving the agency. We shall also give recognition to employees who have pursued academic advancement and those who served as force multipliers and reliable partners in ensuring the continued provision of services to the veterans, especially in the time of the pandemic. So, without further ado, here's Pibao Deputy Administrator Assistant Secretary Raul Z. Caballes for his opening remarks. To our guest of honor and speaker, Director Judith A. Dongalio Chicano, to our Administrator of the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office, or PIBAO, Under Secretary Ernesto G. Carolina, to the veterans, other guests, to Pangkat PIBAO, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant day to all. 
It is my greatest privilege and honor to warmly welcome all of you to the second part of the virtual celebration of PIBAO's 75th founding anniversary, our recognition ceremony. As we continue to celebrate the milestone the agency has achieved over the years, let us also celebrate the members of Pangkat Pibao who have best exemplified the core values of a true public sermon. For 75 years, the agency has made every effort to promote and to uplift the welfare and well-being of the Filipino veterans and their families. Pibao has gone through an arduous journey in order to give the best and the highest quality of service that our veterans clientele so well deserve, all of which would not have been possible if not for the collective effort of Pankat Pibao. Hence, today we give due recognition to our fellow Lincoln Bayan who have shown true dedication to public service. Their significant contributions have been instrumental in the fulfillment of the agency's mandate amidst our ongoing battle against the COVID-19 pandemic. Further, we would also give recognition to the service and loyalty of our personnel who will soon be separated from the service and those who have unexpectedly left us. PIBA will not be what it is today, if not for your valuable service. We thank you for the time, skills, and excellence that you have devoted to the agency and to the people it serves. As the nation now slowly recovers from the devastation of the COVID-19 pandemic, let us be reminded of the spirit of Kagitingan displayed by our veterans. May it be our guide and inspiration as we, as public servant, fulfill our duties and responsibilities all for the best interests of the very people we serve. Congratulations to all the awardees and again happy 75th founding anniversary. Mabuhay ang mga veterano, mabuhay ang pangkat pibaw, mabuhay tayong lahat. Salamat po. Thank you very much, sir, for the very warm welcome message. Let us now move on to one of the most anticipated parts of our celebration, the presentation of awards given to PIVAO's exceptional employees and supervisors. First to be presented is the certificate for each division's model employee and model supervisor, as the citation reads. The Certificate of Merit is presented to the following for outstanding performance in service of the government and of the veterans of the Philippines. Rendered from the second semester of 2020 to first semester of 2021. Given during the PIVAO recognition ceremony held at PIVAO Compound, Camp General Emilio Aquinaldo, Quezon City, Philippines. Signed, Undersecretary Ernesto G. Carolina, Administrator. The 2021 model employees for each division are as follows. Mr. Efren M. Ayala, Veterans Assistance Officer 1 from the Finance Division. Having served the Filipino veterans and their dependents for more than 22 years, he had become a huge asset to the division and to the agency as a whole. He was able to develop a monitoring system of check issued to eliminate and prevent checks from getting stale. He has also closely coordinated with the nine PIVAO servicing banks and financial institutions. During the pandemic, he readily accepted every challenge the cashier section has faced, including its lack of manpower. Because of this, he was able to enhance not only his supervisory skills, but also his decision-making abilities. Ms. Blasel O. Faustino, Administrative Aid 4 from the General Support Services Management Division. In July 2019, Ms. Faustino started working at PIVAO as an Administrative Aid 4 and was assigned at the Supply and Property Management Unit of GSSMD. 
Among her accomplishments is the creation of a contract monitoring system for easy tracking of deliveries. With this initiation, the office is able to determine whether the particular supplier and or contractor is able to comply with the terms of the contract, especially the schedule of delivery. Ms. Joan P. Castillo, Legal Assistant 1 from the Legal Affairs Division. Ms. Joan P. Castillo was unanimously nominated by LAD personnel as model employee. She is part of the support staff of the Legal Affairs Division PVAO. As such, she is in charge of coordinating and preparing the LAD's weekly, monthly, quarterly, and semestral accomplishment reports in accordance and compliance with the office's existing standards. She manages and updates the LAD's documents and submissions compliant with ISO, PGS, and KR 2028 requirements, documents administrative case hearings and prepares hearing orders and transcription. She's also in charge of anti-fraud and administrative cases, files, and schedules. She prepares memo and routing sheet to other divisions and drafts communication letters and prepares minutes of meeting as instructed. Ms. Roda Grace S. Magpale, Administrative Aid 3 from the Management Information Division. In the years of being a staff in the database management section, one of Ms. Magpale's tasks is the updating of PVAO pension records under the validation program. Her meticulousness and diligence in the posting of pension records enabled MID to keep up with the up-to-date display of the validation status of pensioners. The timely notice to other IVDMS users has allowed PVAO to provide accurate information to clients, most especially the annual pension validation since it presents the observance and compliance of our pensioners to the PVAO program. Ms. Maria Jacqueline P. Manguera, Administrative Officer 2 from the Planning and Management Division. Among Ms. Manguera's many significant accomplishments within the last year is the improvement of recording and monitoring of obligations by using different tools in Excel, which is used as budget database. The availability of updated and accurate information has allowed the BAC, Claims, Finance, HRDD, and other concerned divisions and committees to make informed and timely decisions. Moreover, the budget database designed by Ms. Manguera allows for the timely preparation of PIVAO's compliance to the COA's financial accountability log frame and ease in updating the FOCIS database. Mr. Al G. Villagracia, Special Investigator 2 from the Veterans Affairs Management Division. Mr. Al G. Villagracia has been with the Veterans Affairs Management Division since its official operations. He was instrumental in the mobilization of members of the Filipino veterans community during the deliberation for the Constitution and bylaws of the Veterans Federation of the Philippines. Through the years in Bamdi, he has shown dedication in his assigned tasks and also worked consensuously, leading to the approval and issuance of Department Order for the Management of the Veterans Center, Sijeya, Quezon City, by PIVAO and its IRR. Mr. Erwin M. Labo Jr., Administrative Aid 5 from the Veterans Memorial and Historical Division. Mr. Labo is in charge with the collection of data, report generation, and submission of Shrine Income Report, to PIVAO, Department of National Defense, Department of Budget, Senate, and the Congress. He also prepared the PPMP for VNHD and Shrines, studied the requirements of each section and Shrines during the visit, discussed with the Shrine curators the various supplies in order to not only maintain the Shrines but to improve them. Even though the pandemic has hindered the shipment of various supplies for the Shrines and FSEO, he was able to carefully plan and maximize available resources, leading to the completion of the delivery of supplies. Mr. Nilo G. Dangalan, Administrative A2 from the Veterans Records Management Division. Mr. Dangalan is very efficient and dedicated in executing his duties and responsibilities. He has proven his commitment to and concern for our veterans, notably during the ECQ 
by performing obligations that go above and beyond his customary responsibilities. As a result, BRMD has received excellent feedback and has less complaints throughout this period. Ms. Melissa N. Sanchez, Administrative A2 from the Office of the Administrator. Ms. Sanchez has proven herself to be an effective multitasker. One of the most important responsibilities she effectively performed is the arranging and monitoring of the Administrator's schedule of activities. During the pandemic period, she has shown efficient service, which largely supported the effective delivery of her division services to its internal and external clients. To ensure that all communications were properly monitored, she effectively operated and handled the OA bar coding system, even during her work-from-home schedule. Overall Exemplary Employee Ms. Julian M. Maksaet, Administrative Officer 2 from Human Resource Development Division. As a registered psychometrician, she helped administer pre-employment psychological exams to applicants and provide accurate evaluation as part of the pre-employment assessment, a responsibility usually performed by higher-level staff. She developed the agency's recruitment monitoring database used to monitor the end-to-end -end process of recruitment from job posting to onboarding. She was also instrumental in the successful implementation of online examinations and virtual initial assessment of applicants. Overall Model Employee Ms. Maria Eloisa S. Santelices, Financial Claims Examiner 2 from the Claims Division. Ms. Santelices has showcased excellent customer service skills as she has the ability to deal with all types of clients. Sharing her knowledge contributes to the continuous improvement of claims division, specifically in veterans processing benefits claims. Her strong commitment in improving how the agency provides prompt, efficient, and quality service to all its clientele has made remarkable contribution in the achievement of organizational goals. Her passion and dedication in attaining excellence in her work has earned the respect of her co-workers and supervisors. The 2021 model supervisors for each division are as follows. Ms. Mary Grace R. Palatao, Financial Claims Officer 2, Finance Division. As head of BRSS, the rapport she has established and maintained with our partner banks and financial institutions has proven to be beneficial, especially in the adoption and implementation of new processes to improve our services to veteran pensioners. The knowledge and exposure she has gained since joining the Finance Division in 2002 facilitated in the crafting of various proposals adopted by the office to improve its operations. Engineer Jomedes C. Palor, Senior Shrine Curator, General Services and Support Management Division. As of this date, Pivao has already completed more than 50% of its procurement program for 2021. This is attributed to Engineer Palor's proactive approach in the management of all procurement activities. Despite the limitations in the number of personnel allowed to physically report to work and other challenges during the height of the pandemic in 2020, the BAC, through the initiatives of Engineer Palor as the head of the BAC Secretariat, was able to perform its regular duties through the use of virtual communications. Ms. Cinderella S. Wyas, Computer Programmer 2, Management Information Division. In the years as an application developer and technical support specialist staff in the application system development system. In the application system development section, she exhibited analytical and organizational skills in performing her duties. Aside from being an application systems developer, she is also the MID's representative to various PIVAL committees and contributed to its tasks. Mr. Manuel B. Cabral, Financial Claims Examiner 2, Planning and Management Division. Utilizing the professional relationship he has fostered with the management of PIVAL servicing banks, Mr. Cabral was able to assist the Bank Reconciliation Unit in following up the unreconciled debit and credit memoranda from banks. He also assisted the Contract Review and Negotiation Committee in 
and reviewing and computing the rental deficiencies of various lessees of the Veterans Federation of the Philippines within the Veterans Center property in Taguig City. Ms. Lillian G. Aquitania, Veterans Assistance Officer 2, Veterans Affairs Management Division. With the retirement of former Chief VAMD in February 2019, Ms. Aquitania assisted the OIC VAMD in managing the day-to-day -day operations of the division. She demonstrated leadership, coaching, supporting, delegating, and directing so that VAMD is able to accomplish its deliverables led to motivate and hands-on coaching for the three sections of the division. Mr. J. Lord G. Aquino, Senior Veterans Assistance Officer, Veterans Memorial and Historical Division. As the head of the Shrines Management and Development Section, he drafted the guidelines on the resumption of Shrine operations, facilitated the arrangement for the provision of lease concessions to affected Shrine lessees, and drafted the Shrines and Battle Monuments Development Division OSSP. He was also a member of PIVAO Technical Working Group for the implementation of the Libingan ng Mga Bayani. Ms. Dolly P. Blanca, Senior Veterans Assistance Officer, Human Resource Development Division. As the head of the Personal Performance Management Section or PPMS, she contributed to ensure the agency's compliance on IPCR requirements for the grant of the performance-based bonus. She also assisted the implementation of standard online accomplishment report through the use of IAR logs in partnership with MIB. She also improved the HRDD's learning and development database. Ms. Arlene Mendoza, Administrative Assistant 5 from the Office of the Administrator. Ms. Mendoza has consistently shown very satisfactory performance, close to outstanding. With limited time in the office due to the current work arrangement brought by the pandemic, her performance has continued to exceed on her target. Her commitment to deliver efficient service has always been her priority. She can handle more responsibilities with little supervision. She efficiently managed the operation of the Office of the Deputy Administrator to make it continuously and effectively operating even during the pandemic. Overall Exemplary Supervisor, Attorney Alma Marie E. Servito Cables, Attorney 4 of the Legal Affairs Division. As Assistant Project Manager of the PMT on Policy Reform, she was instrumental in overseeing the crafting of position papers and proposed bills that aim to upgrade the benefits provided to veterans and ensure their general welfare. She provided expertise and invaluable contribution in the implementation of PBAO's anti-fraud and legal recovery programs, ensuring that the agency is able to pursue cases against erring individuals and recover government funds. Overall Model Supervisor, Ms. Joanne Marie D. Homalesa. Senior Veterans Assistance Officer of the Claims Division. Ms. Homalesa significantly contributed to the attainment of the goal and objectives of the PIVAO Kalitingan Roadmap 2028 by ensuring the implementation of initiatives that aim to expand non-pension benefits provided to veterans. As head of the Educational Benefits and Hospitalization Management Section, she displayed commitment in pursuing the establishment of veterans wards in hospitals located in various parts of the country, particularly in areas where there are high densities of veterans and qualified dependents. We also recognize the Academic Achievement Awards of the following employees. The Philippine Veterans Affairs Office presents the Certificate of Commendation to Elora Giselle F. Canco, Planning Officer 2 from the Planning and Management Division, for pursuing academic advancement and successfully earning a Master's Degree in International Journalism and Communication from the Communication University of China. Exhibiting determination and commitment, Ms. Kanko persistently worked towards the attainment of an advanced academic degree under the Chinese government scholarship from September 5, 2019 to July 2, 2021. Her resolve to improve her competencies has benefited not only herself but also Pivao, 
redounding to the provision of better services to the Filipino veterans and the rest of the agency's clientele. Given in connection with the 75th anniversary celebration of PIVAO, this 25th day of October 2021 at the PIVAO Veterans Compound Camp General Emilio Aguinaldo, Quezon City, Philippines. Signed, Under Secretary Ernesto G. Carolina, Administrator. The Philippine Veterans Affairs Office presents the Certificate of Recognition to Ms. Elan Jane E. Tuvilla, Veterans Assistance Officer 2, Pivao FSEO, Pacolod City. For pursuing academic advancement and successfully earning a master's degree in business administration from the University of St. Lazar. Exhibiting initiative and determination, Ms. Tubilla persistently worked towards the attainment of an advanced academic degree using her own resources while working full-time from January 25, 2008 to August 1, 2020. Her commitment to improve her competencies has benefited not only herself but also the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office, redounding to the provision of better services to the Filipino veterans and the rest of the agency's clientele. Also to be awarded are the Allied personnel who served as force multipliers of Pankat Piva. As reliable partners, they augmented the human resource component of the agency, especially during the implementation of enhanced community quarantine. The Philippine Veterans Affairs Office presents this award of recognition to the Optimum Security Services for their exemplary services in ensuring that PVAO's COVID-19 prevention protocols are adhered to at all times. The Optimum Security Services has become a steady partner of the agency in extending protection and security services not only in central office but also in Aroceros property, Beftok, including shrine units. These efforts greatly help the agency in pursuing its mandate of serving and protecting the general welfare of the Filipino veterans and their dependents, especially during pandemic. The Philippine Veterans Affairs Office presents this award of recognition to Philcare Manpower Services for their exemplary services in ensuring that PIVAO's COVID-19 prevention protocols are adhered to at all times. The Philcare Manpower Services has become a steady partner of the agency in extending utility, ground, and structural maintenance services. The Philcare has also assisted in the structural works and services in Araceros property, pep talk including shrine units these efforts greatly helped the agency in pursuing its mandate of serving and protecting the general welfare of the filipino veterans and their dependents especially during the pandemic Special Recognition Award is also given to the following for rendering years of dedicated service to the agency the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office presents this award of recognition to Mr. George A. Aranas, former Special Investigator 3, Legal Affairs Division, for exceptional performance, unwavering dedication, and steadfast commitment in the service of the Philippine government and the Filipino veterans. Mr. Aranas was appointed as Special Investigator 2 at the Legal Affairs Division in March 2011. In April 2013, he was promoted to Special Investigator 3, where he played a major role in liaising for the passage of laws and the formulation of various policies and guidelines that benefited the veterans and their rightful heirs. The Philippine Veterans Affairs Office presents this Special Recognition Award to Al G. Villagracia, Special Investigator 2, Veterans Affairs Management Division for rendering dedicated and loyal service of 26 years to the Philippine government and the Filipino veterans. Mr. Villagracia significantly contributed to the effective management of the general welfare and well-being of the veterans and their rightful heirs. Next to be awarded are members of Pankat Pivao who have devoted their time and effort in serving the Filipino veterans and their families. 
This award is given in recognition of their dedicated and loyal service to the Philippine government and the Filipino veterans. Given during the Pibao recognition ceremony held at Pibao Compound, Camp General Emilio Aguinaldo, Quezon City, Philippines. Signed, Undersecretary Ernesto G. Carolina, Administrator. The names of the retirees are as follows. Ms. Rowena O. Tropicales. Ms. Rowena O. Tropicales. Retired as Assistant Financial Claims Examiner and rendered 13 years and 6 months of service in Pibao. Ms. Mary Grace G. Manahan, retired as Administrative Aid 6 and rendered 16 years of service in Pibao. Ms. Floriza C. Brazil, retired as Assistant Financial Claims Examiner and rendered 21 years of service in Pibao. Ms. Rosalyn S. De Jesus, retired as Veterans Assistance Officer 2 and has rendered 24 years and 7 months of service in Pibao. Ms. Minerva D. Tabuniar, retired as Administrative Aid 3 and rendered 31 years of service in Pibao. Ms. Delia C. Del Agua, retired as Administrative Aid 3 and rendered 31 years of service in Pibao. Ms. Evelyn N. De Castro, retired as Special Investigator 2 and rendered 32 years and 2 months of service in Pibao. Mr. Walter T. Villares, retired as Senior Shrine Curator and rendered 32 years and 2 months of service in Pibao. Ms. Annabel M. Moga, retired as Veterans Assistance Officer 2 and rendered 33 years of service in Pibao. Ms. Corazon Estraniero, Retired as Administrative Officer 4 and rendered 36 years of service in Pibao. Mr. Eduardo M. Lison, Retired as Assistant Financial Claims Examiner and rendered 37 years of service in Pibao. Ms. Melinda I. Luna, Retired as Chief Administrative Officer and rendered 37 years of service in Pibao. Ms. Lilia A. Mijares. Retired as Administrative Assistant B and rendered 38 years and 4 months of service in Pibao. Ms. Maria Luisa S. Tolentino. Retired as Assistant Financial Claims Examiner and rendered 40 years and 9 months of service in Pibao. Lastly, we honor the employees who met their untimely demise while faithfully serving the agency. Ms. Diana Rose de la Vega, Special Investigator 2, separated on April 4, 2021 and rendered seven years of service in Viva. Ms. Pamela Ricamora, Financial Claims Examiner 2, separated on April 3, 2021 and rendered 10 years of service in Viva. Ms. Lewina B. Domelod, Administrative Officer 1, separated on February 19, 2021, and rendered 22 years of service in Pibao. Mr. Melvin Lara, Administrative Aid 1, separated on August 9, 2021, and rendered 22 years of service in Pibao. And there you have it, Pangat Pibao. You have just seen the list of officials and personnel who have exemplified the core values of a true Lingkod Bayan. To our awardees, congratulations. At this juncture, let us call on our Pibao Administrator, Undersecretary Ernesto G. Carolina, for his inspirational message and introduction to our guest of honor and speaker. Guest of honor and uh, speaker, the director of uh, the Civil Service uh, Commission National Capital Region, Madam Judith A. Dongalio Chicano, our very own uh, Pankat uh, Pibao, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant day to all of us. Today, we are gathered to uh, fulfill an important part of uh, celebrating our 75th founding anniversary. As this year's anniversary marks a significant uh, milestone, 
it is only befitting that we give due recognition to our uh, indefatigable Lincoln Bayans who serve the Filipino veterans with utmost dedication and passion. The Philippine Veterans Affairs Office through the years has gained uh, notable recognition and distinct accomplishments which were made possible through the sheer efforts and hard work of our Pankat people. The core values embodied in our uh, Kagitingan Roadmap 2028, along with our shared ideal of uh, gratitude to the veterans, shall be the staple of our service. Serving at the forefront of the agency, our modern executive, supervisors, and employees have shown distinct qualities of a true Lingot Bayan. Patriotic, imbued with integrity, professional, and bound by a strong sense of uh, solidarity, we have truly exceeded our clients' expectations and rendered more than what is required. The selected model supervisors and employees to be awarded today have undergone thorough evaluation. They have shown outstanding work ethics and manifested a strong sense of duty and dedication to their mission that are indeed worthy of praise and admiration. I would also like to acknowledge our frontliners from our field service extension offices, our uh, national shrines, our accredited liaison officers, and our employees from uh, the main office for their genuine concern for our veterans and their uninterrupted service even during these times of peril and uncertainty. Once again, I would like to greet and extend my warmest felicitations to our awardees and all the members of Pankat Pibaw. The agency takes uh, great pride and honor on what you are, what you do, and what you accomplish as you remain to be the most important asset of our agency. Let this recognition serve as our grateful gesture for your selfless service and dedication to the Filipino veterans. May you remain to be model Lingkod Bayans to everyone. With that backdrop, I would like to uh, go to my uh, pleasurable task of welcoming our guest of honor and speaker, a notable and uh, dedicated uh, Lingkod Bayan, known for her insights in the field of civil service law and regulations, strategy and operations, performance and change uh, management, coaching, mentoring, and leadership programs. She's equipped with a vast wealth of knowledge and experience, serving at the forefront of the Civil Service Commission's major human resource initiatives and programs, particularly in the program to institutionalize meritocracy and excellence in human resource management, or PRIME HRM. I'd like to mention that uh, PIVAO has been one of the uh, beneficiaries of this, and uh, Strategic Performance Management System, or SPMS. Pangkat PIVAO, let us uh, all welcome a hands-on leader and dedicated public servant, best known as a woman of action, the director of the Civil Service Commission National Capital Region, Madam Judith A. Dongalio Chicano.
Administrator Lieutenant General Ernesto G. Carolina, Deputy Administrator Major General Raul Z. Caballes, Commodore Elson K. Aguilar, Chief of Transition, Office for the Integration of Pension Systems, Division Chiefs of the various divisions, mga kapwa ko kawani ng gobyerno, isang magandang araw po sa inyong lahat at mabuhay po kayo. For over a year now, it seems like the news brought about by the pandemic has made us more and more desperate and anxious that sometimes we feel canceling celebrations, including milestones, is the most sensible thing to do to stay rational and balanced. But in my own personal opinion, celebrations are needed now more than ever to lift our spirits up, take care of our mental health, and give ourselves hope for much brighter and happier tomorrow. Harvard University's longest-running studies on happiness revealed that being happy is derived from 50% genes, 40% from the choices we make, and 10% from life's circumstances. If this is indeed the elements for happiness, it tells us that we can actually create by 40%, despite 50% genetic vulnerability, our own happiness which oftentimes comes from celebration of milestones, relationships, doing volunteer works which it incidentally top among the factors that make us happier. In our own backyard, we have our own celebrations, no matter how simple they may be. Last September, the Civil Service Commission enjoined all government offices to participate in the nationwide activities in celebration of the 121st anniversary of the Philippine Civil Service. This year, the Civil Service Commission shall also celebrate and recognize the exemplary and outstanding contributions of this year's finalists to the CSC's annual Honor Awards program in the Dangal ng Bayan, CSC Pagasa, and the Presidential Lingkod Bayani categories. That is why it brings me much pleasure to know that the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office is celebrating, though virtually, its founding anniversary today. This event suggests that you have made a choice to celebrate. Despite this unprecedented time to honor the outstanding contributions of Pibao retirees and division model supervisors and employees. This shows that this noble intention of Pibao cannot be stopped even by the worst of the pandemic. The theme, Servisyong Mahaasahan at Mapagkalinga, alay sa pagbangon laban sa pandemia, demonstrates significant efforts of your organization toward malasakit or empathy-driven governance. This has always been and still is CSC's mantra as anchored on the updated Philippine Development Plan for year 2017 to 2022, Chapter 5, ensuring responsive, people-centered, technology-abled, and clean governance. As the premier human resource institution of the Philippine government, the CSC continues to respond to the ever-changing demands of public service by implementing human resource initiatives that are designed to mold servant heroes or lingkod bayanis. And one of the indicators that we are thriving in this initiative is when we get nominations for the Honor Awards program. That is why I am very much pleased to know that Pivao recognizes the extraordinary acts of its people. While it is true that only the truly and most significant Substantial and high-impact contributions could merit a Dangal ng Bayan, Pag-asa or Presidential Lingkod Bayan Awards to embody the principles of a true Lingkod Bayani in the course of our daily, ordinary functions is the first step or maybe the only step to becoming one. I hope in the next year or so, the CSC will have the privilege to get nominations from Pivao. As we know, there are servant heroes in this agency who work silently but possess the noble and extraordinary characteristics worthy to be recognized. The awardees today could be finalists or winners in the making to this program. I am also pleased that Pibao continues to strengthen its drive to provide an agile, 
positive and balanced environment for its people by keeping the human resource maturity level to indicators alive as bronze awardee under the program to institutionalize meritocracy and excellence in human resource management or prime HRM. Holding a conformant of awards to retirees and division model supervisors and employees is an absolute manifestation of Pivao's functional rewards and recognition efforts and processes. My dear honorees, congratulations for a job well done. I do not have the details of what you have done differently to your organization, but clearly, you have sent a message that the bureaucracy is not lacking of remarkable and extraordinary workers. Let us always be reminded that working for the government is not only a job worth doing, but one that is worth doing right. Maria Ressa, CEO of Rappler and the first Filipino laureate for a Nobel Prize for Peace could not have said it much better, and I quote, The more we do the right thing, the harder it is for us to do the wrong thing. To the Pivao family, my sincerest greetings on your 49th founding anniversary, and my congratulations for choosing to celebrate despite the challenges of this time. The pandemic has drastically changed our work and personal landscapes, and adapting to the change has never been easy from day one. Despite these dramatic changes, however, may you continue to become resilient and future-ready public servants to ensure continued delivery of efficient and effective public service. May your foundation for hard work and commitment bring more valuable and meaningful results. After all, there's no better way to show your collective successes bearing testament to the theme, Servisyong maaasahan at mapagtalinga alay sa pagbangon laban sa pandemya. Muli, maligayang anibersaryo at mabuhay po tayo mga nagilingkod sa gobyerno. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much, Director Dongalio Chicano, for your message. At this moment, we would like to present the plaque of appreciation to our guest of honor and speaker. The Philippine Veterans Affairs Office presents this plaque of appreciation to Director Judith A. Dongalio Chicano, Civil Service Commission, National Capital Region, for sharing her inspiring message as guest of honor and speaker during the FIVA recognition ceremony for employees and retirees of the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office. Given this 25th day of October 2021 at Pivo Compound, Camp General Emilio Aguinaldo, Quezon City, Philippines. Signed, Under Secretary Ernesto G. Carolina, Administrator. And that concludes our virtual recognition ceremony. Once again, I am Felicia Lois Lanya. And I am Nico Oriro. Thank you for being with us today. As we formally end, Pangkat Pivao, let us sing our Pivao hymn. Oh